Okay, we started out collecting some data for our class and got it all into a spreadsheet. Um, our first task was to take these numbers and build a table in Desmos. And we did that. There's an example. And what you did at that point um, was create a generic equation of some type with some sliders and you estimated what the trend line would look like. So in this case, 0.42x, no, 0.7x plus 0.42. So these three boxes show the trend line that you estimated to go through the data. Then we picked up a TI-83 calculator and put the same data up here in it, came down and had the TI-83 generate a line of regression and we plotted that and we calculated using the TI-83 a correlation coefficient and wrote that down in our notes. So that's the first thing we did. Just this class's data, just period one data, and a table, a scatter plot, our estimated line of regression, and the line of regression and correlation coefficient calculated um, using uh, TI-83. And that went into the top part. So that would go into this area of the questions that I handed out. Now for the full set of data, I shared this spreadsheet with everybody. For the full set of data, we went through and again we um, simply this time we watched the video in class we went through and built a new Desmos file by simply taking data from here copy and paste it into Desmos into the table and then we put into it a line of regression that it would use x1 and y1 to calculate so at that point we had our line of regression in this case would be y equals 0.074x plus 16.703 with an R value of 0.135. So we see these are not correlated very much. That information, that line of regression, and that R value go into this portion of the sheet that you are filling out for class. So get all those numbers in there. Um, finish all that, list up here the body dimensions you have graphed, and have that ready for our discussion tomorrow in class. If you still have any questions, email me. Thanks.